Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, bringing you guys a gameplay of Battlefield 3. And it took me a while to figure out how to play this game. It's quite a struggle, but uh, I'm showing you guys some, some team deathmatch. Um, and the very first thing I want to say is it is goddamn confusing trying to figure out these kits because, uh, first of all, I don't have anything unlocked. Second of all, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but when you spawn one side, uh, or when you're like the good guys or whatever, you spawn with a certain gun type. When you spawn as the bad guys, you spawn you spawn with a different gun type. So I was trying to rank up one of the guns and I was like, why does it keep selecting different different guns? It starts with the the AK or the or the M16, depending on what team you are. And I was just like, what is going on here? I was getting so confused. Now, for you guys that are new to Battlefield, this is probably uh, something that you guys maybe want to watch. I don't know. But, um, but basically, I'm a super duper noob. And, uh, you know, I played the beta a little bit and I had some fun playing the beta and stuff, but now that the game is actually out, um, you know, I, I haven't actually played it, so I finally bought it uh, per some of my subscribers and wanted to give it a fair shake. And I just got to say, it's like, it's just so different from Call of Duty that it's really, really difficult. You can't really comp compare it to Call of Duty. And what I found uh, mostly, and there's, first of all, you can see right there, I, I just don't even know what the, where the heck I'm going. Um, the, what, the sniping. Like, I'm not a sniper in Call of Duty. That's all I've been using in this game uh, because... When I run out in the middle of, of nowhere, I just seem to get handled pretty easily. Uh, and I don't know if it's because the other people that I'm playing against have all their attachments for their guns and so they can just kill me easy, easier or what, but uh, I ended up... It's like I turn into that, that, that little uh, biatch in the corner that just sits in the corner and uh, snipes, and that's, <laughs> that's what I end up doing with this game. I just end up going and, and hiding somewhere and then trying to snipe, and, uh, and you can see I was trying to kill this guy over here. Well, that's that's uh, what I started out this game doing, and then I, I mix it up and run in um, a little bit more later. But it's just ridiculous. I'm like, this isn't the type of player that I want to become. And if this is what you have to do to have a decent game in this game at um, Battlefield, I don't even know, man. I, I'm not saying – you know, I haven't watched a lot of uh, Battlefield games either on, on YouTube. Uh, in fact, I've watched, I think, maybe two. Um and I had no idea what was going on when I was watching the videos anyway. So it's kind of fun to, to jump into something and start afresh and, and new and not really know what the heck is going on. Um, again, this is just one of those games that I decided to uh, to give it a try and uh, just kind of see see what I thought. There's there's really no comparison to Call of Duty. One thing for the snipers, if, if you line up a perfect shot on a guy that's just sitting there head glitching, I, like if, depending on the distance, I can't get the kill. And I don't know why. That is like it felt. It feels like so many times where I, I should have gotten the kill because of uh, you're used to the Call of Duty hit markers sort of thing. That you like, I would think that I would have gotten the kill, but and you can see right here. I mean, I'm trying. It looks like I have the, the the crosshairs, but it just doesn't. It doesn't give you the kill. That would have like been a, probably a kill. And in, in, um, there was a, another one where I thought I had that guy. I I. I zoomed in and shot twice on the head and I don't know let me know in the comments below like do I have to aim a little lower do I have to aim a little higher when I'm uh well, like from where the crosshairs actually line up um I think if they're if they're trying to promote realism then it would mean that if if I'm shooting a long distance the bullet would drag down a little bit so that means I'd have to to like aim aim in a little bit higher so that way when when it actually hits them it would uh because of the distance it would be lower or whatever I, I don't know um but you know, I it's it's just a hard game for me to get used to. It's fun, don't get me wrong. I have fun playing it so far, but it's so frustrating uh, running in and just getting handled. And you know, I don't know if you can blame it on lag or whatever. The other thing is is when you start a game, it's really confusing. Um, first of all, I bought the game used, and I had to pay an extra ten dollars to be able to even play the multiplayer online. Um, you have to pay ten dollars to to basically. I don't know if it's a server fee or what it is. But um, but people have their own servers, and then you can just join in a random game. But it seems like every, you're joining into a random game that's hosted by other people. I don't know if the, if everybody says these are hosted servers from Battlefield. I'm not sure if that means uh, Battlefield hosts the servers. And I thought this guy was trolling me, but it was my my own team there. Um, I don't know if Battlefield owns the servers or if people if Battlefield hosts the servers for people to buy. I'm assuming that's what the case is. But I don't know. It just seems like. Like if somebody owns their own server, they could potentially mod it, and I'm not sure if that's even um, a problem that you guys see or not. But it's just something that I was just curious about if there's any type of advantages from somebody that actually is hosting the server or not, because I think that it's it's held on the uh, 
on the side of uh, the uh, the company. But but anyway, that's just some some of the thoughts. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of lag in this game, and I don't even know what the heck I'm doing here. I'm putting down a sensor, I guess, or something. I, I really don't even know what it does. Um, I, I don't, uh, you yeah, know, what was I saying? I, so I'm trying to figure out, like, if there's any lag, but there's, like, I think that Call of Duty was easy to tell if there was lag because you could kill, or try to kill somebody, and then you would get, get killed, and then you could just play back and watch the kill cam and just see how horrible it was. And this, there's not really a kill cam. It just shows you the person... Like after they kill you, it shows where they are and stuff, which is a little bit different. And here's uh, another fail right here. I mean, this is a, another example. I don't know, maybe it's because he was using a, a better gun, he had all the attachments for it or what, but I felt like I had that kill, um, and uh, and I had the jump on him, and then he just turned around and just killed me. Uh, that happened a lot, a lot, a lot to me. And, um, you know, the spawns are interesting. I know you can spawn on other, other players, but every time I try to figure out, and look at this, here's me pushing him against the wall and I can't jump over the thing I guess I don't know um, I, I don't know so you can spawn on other players but uh, sometimes I you know I push up and down to try to do that and I can't do I can't end up spawning on them because I think of they, they might already be dead or something like that I'm not I'm not really sure so I just end up spawning wherever it tells me I don't have a little a very structured method for uh, for making that happen the other thing is health not really sure how the health thing works yet um, because like right now you can see I have 25 percent so I'm not sure if I start regenerating or if I have to have a, uh, a, a some yeah it looks like I do regenerate to a, to some extent um, I'm curious how far it does regenerate though because it looks like I'm going back to 60 yeah so what's the point of health if you automatically regenerate then what's the point of having somebody throw down a health kit so now I'm at 100 percent again um, that was the other thing. I don't understand the, all the different kits and stuff like that. It's just really kind of hard to, to figure out. And there, there's another fail right there from this guy. And there, this is a kill cam. So there's no, I mean, it's no kill, kill cam really. I could just see who killed me and stuff. So um, the positives of the game though, I think that, uh, well, the graphics aren't as good as, as they probably could be because I don't have the game loaded on my hard drive because I do not have enough space on my hard drive to load the game. It takes, uh, and I don't know what just happened there. Um, guy got me from upstairs it looks like uh, it, so you have to have um, a certain amount of hard drive space like 1.5 gigs to install it and I only have a gig free unfortunately and I can't install it off my external which is a bummer um, let's see here oh yeah I saw the red flashing light over here so I'm like okay I'm gonna try to snap this guy I ended up getting a kill there so I do like the snipers in this in this game a lot it's a lot of fun to snipe in this I still need to figure out how to snipe at a long distance because it does not make any sense to me um, Secondaries don't seem very strong for the most part. I also do like the knifing. How, how when you sneak up behind somebody, you like grabbing them and, and just stab them in the chest. I like how it's a longer animation and it's more realistic to the point where you just can't run up and uh, you know stab like six people like you can in like Modern Warfare 2, which again I I thoroughly enjoy as well. But if you're going for a realism aspect, then then I can respect uh, what they have going on here. Um, the uh, it seems like there's it takes a lot more effort to kill somebody right here is a fail I think watch this here's here's me trying to knife him. <laughs> it's so bad I I fail at knifing in Call of Duty as you guys already know I fail at knifing in in um in I was gonna say Black Ops in in Battlefield Three as well I was so mad because I snuck up on that guy I thought I was gonna shank him and then uh and then he ends up laying down on the ground and killing me which is another thing. And, I, and here's a, a nice little uh, random kill. Um, you can't drop shot really on this either, which is a good thing. I was trying to drop shot when I first started, but there's an animation where you uh, where you actually drop to the ground. So by trying to drop shot, it just ends up being pretty horrible. Um, I tried using different, and that was a nice little kill. I, I didn't know I was going to get that guy in one shot. Uh, and then there's this guy again, and I was trying to hip fire to get that, that kill. But unfortunately, I ended up missing it. Um, so yeah, drop shotting and panic knifing, I think that those are two things that you can't really do in this game, which are the two uh, two of the most annoying things in probably um, call, the Call of Duty series. I mean, in general, I mean, people don't like either of those things uh, because it's kind of a cheap ta tactic and, and again, doesn't have very many parallels to, to realism. Now, uh, I did try some of the other game modes like Rush and stuff, and, uh, you know, I'm horrible at this game. I, I just have to say, I'm just horrible at the game. I, I've I played the game for like a the better part of a couple, I don't know, two or three hours. Went positive two of those games. 
one of the games I joined in, I don't even know what the hell happened. It was 40 minutes long. And uh, I went negative 10 kills. I think I had like 45 and like 60 or 50 and 60 or something like that. Uh, and I, I don't even know why it went to such a high score, but it, it was a team deathmatch one. And it went on for 40 minutes. I don't, again, I don't really understand that. But but yeah, I, I like the idea. Um, first of all, I really do like this mode versus the other modes because this is like a TDM rush or whatever. And you do... It does feel like you actually get more accomplished. Um, and right here, I thought, oh, there's a guy right below me. I didn't even see it. I just saw him right there. Oh, there he is. Um, and I ended up getting him. And, I, I, you know, I don't know guns. Like, if there's a better sniper, if there's a gun that actually can kill with one shot. I mean, those people that are brand new to Modern Warfare 3 and don't know the difference between, like, a SCAR and an ACR. Like, I'm at the point where I don't know anything. I mean, I just don't have a clue as to any guns that will work. And... I don't have anything unlocked. It takes forever to unlock. So I think that's the the other kind of uh, like I guess it could be a, quite a negative point to the game is just like Call of Duty when you start off. Everybody says Call of Duty is noob friendly, but when you start off, you don't have any attachments. You don't have all the guns unlocked. You don't have you know there's tons of things you don't have. This game is that times like five for me because I'm so horrible at the game. I can hardly get any kills. And then in order to get everything else unlocked, you need to be able to get kills. And build your rank up so like I'm having a hell of a time ranking up because my uh, because I can't get any kills and as a result I, since I'm not ranking up um, I can't like unlock other weapons and you know I'm just stuck with the the bare bones beginning things with like unlock like maybe one or two parts on it and then the other crappy part of that is I unlock like a new scope or two new scopes and, and an under barrel or whatever the heck the some of the attachments are and then I only unlock it for the gun for the uh, the good guys team. But whenever I spawn in as the bad guys team, I don't, I don't have anything unlocked. Like this is a sniper where I don't have anything unlocked. The other sniper I have like two two different uh, two different things unlocked. But uh, anyway, that's just a quick overview. It's not quick. It's actually a long overview, and we still end up losing. But I went positive by two kills. Woohoo! Anyway, uh, if you guys want to see more Battlefield for me, leave a comment. Let me know. Otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.